claimed to be royalty, but uh, had a head the size of a pumpkin. That must have been really <laughs> something. You made it. Huh? Uh, follow me. Now, uh, like I said in my letter, we are going into business. I've been breaking down animals since I was knee-high to a sprinter. And I worked as a tanner up in Wisconsin back in the 60s. Uh, it's a very long story. So I've got three words for you. Cripps Trading Company. Pristine pelts and animal parts for bulk sale. I know the market's there. All I need is a partner. So, I'm thinking, you source the materials. Skins, plumes, horns, and the like. I'll clean them and prep them. Then you go out and make the sale. Hell, we might even eat well out of this for once, too. Wouldn't that be nice? <coughs> Why are you still here, Willis? Your provisions, oh, Mr. Cripps. Oh, yeah. Right, pack the rest on there, will you? Now, with any opportunity comes risk. The competitors, thieves, me losing interest in the whole idea. But if we combine our talents, we'll be unstoppable. Now, I will require a, an initial modest investment, of course, startup costs and such like, but you'll recoup that as fast as you can say, hey, Cripps, you handsome genius. <laughs> so how about it? Are you in? My talent. Good. Now, you won't regret this, I promise. Now, I've already got hold of a small wagon and most of what we'll need in terms of...
Hawks Trading Company is officially up and running. So we'll get out there and do some hunting. Time for us to make our fortune. I need some luxury and repose in my twilight years. <laughs> if there's a fellow on this green earth that deserves a drink more than me today, I'd like to meet him. Anyway, uh, don't let me keep you. Mm.